Hey there, stampers and crafters. It's Tammy Williams here with TammyLovesStamping.com. I've had a couple people ask me about how to make these card boxes that I um, showed on a previous post. And I, I showed about three different kinds that I've made with three different colors and three different designer series paper. I made these last year. This one, I already took the ribbon off of it so I could show you the inside, how the lid just comes off. And so there's your um, box that can hold your cards, and then here's the lid. Um, you can also decorate the sides if you want. Um, I didn't happen to do that with this. Um, anyway, so today I'm going to show you how quick and easy you can uh, put one of these together. And, and they, they work great for putting cards inside. Let me see if I've got one handy I can put in here. Um, nope. <laughs> All right, we'll go. I've got a stack of them here I just grabbed. All right, so you can just set them right in here like that. And you can get quite a few cards in here. This There's one, two, three, four right there, and it's not even a fourth of the way filled up. Um, and then you can put envelopes in as well, and then just um, gift, gift your handmade cards to someone. Put your little ribbon on it, and then gift it to someone. And um, then they have, you know, a pack of cards. Whenever they need a card, they can just thumb through them and pick out the one they want to send. And they've got their envelope right there to go with it. And, and uh, it's a great gift to give for Christmas. So let me get these out of the way. And we will pull my paper trimmer in here and my ruler. I'm trying to think if I can get this up a little higher. Let's see that's better okay and then um, what you need to start is just two pieces of cardstock so your eight and a half by eleven inch cardstock so just two pieces so I'm gonna do pretty peacock this time and um, so my, my take my first piece and I'm gonna cut it at nine and three quarters by eight and a half so the eight and a half side we don't have to do anything with so then we want to turn it the long way and we're going to cut it at eight, at uh, sorry, nine and three quarters. So I'm going to need my extension out here. So this is the Stampin' Up paper trimmer, which is nice because you can extend this little arm out and it goes all the way out to 17 inches. So I'm going to put my little paper in here and I'm going to go all the way to nine and three quarters, which is right here. And then I'm gonna, well, you can't see it, but it's, I'm at, I'm at nine and three quarters. And then I'm gonna slide my little cutting blade up and cut off about that much and save that little scrap for something else. Okay, so that's our first piece nine and a half by, I'm sorry, nine and three quarters <laughs> by eight and a half. I'll put the comments, I'll put the uh, dimensions in the comments as well. So you don't have to remember them or write them down. All right, so then take your second piece of cardstock, and this one we're going to cut at seven and seven eighths by six and five eighths. Seven and seven eighths by six and five eighths. So I'm going to take the this side here, that the eight and a half inch side, and I'm going to cut it down to seven and seven eighths. So seven and seven eighths. That's just two little notches before the eight inch mark. Oh, my cutter didn't work. There we go. So just a little sliver off of that end and then flip it the other way. And then now we're going to do six and five eighths. Six and five eighths. All right. So this, there's a little, right where the, the extended arm goes out, there's a crease there. So I can't always tell. So that's why I have my ruler. So I want six, let's see, six and five eighths would be one, two, three, four, five. So two notches past the half inch mark. Um, two notches past the half inch mark. So right about there. That's the half inch, so then two more. Five, six, seven, yeah. That's where I want it. Okay. Cut that. And then we're going to score. So I can close my little arm here. 
So the, the smaller piece will be your card um, box, the top of it, the cover, and this, the larger piece will be the bottom of your box. So let's take the larger piece and we're going to score it at two inches all the way around. So just um, a two inch border all the way around. So I'm going to put it in here and we'll put my cutting blade down at the bottom so I don't use that and go to two inches and score, turn it, go to two inches and score, turn it again, two inches and score, and then the last side, two inches and score. Okay, so that, I don't know if you can see those score lines, but you have like a little corner on each each corner is, is scored a little bit and we're going to cut on, on two sides in a minute. So now we take our cover, our smaller piece of cardstock, and we're going to do the same thing except we're going to do a one inch score line all the way around the edges. So let's put that in here at the one inch measurement and score. Turn it again, one inch measurement, score. I've got something underneath my my scoring my uh, cutter trimmer thing here. I'm, a, I'm uneven. It's my tear and tape. I had to get that out from under here. There we go. Works better when you're level. All right, and then I got my last side to do here. One inches, one inch, and score. Okay. So now you can see. All four corners are scored on this sheet as well. And that's how easy that is. So let me put the cutter away, trimmer, and don't, I don't think I need my silicone mat. I can put that away too. All right, so now we're going to use my scoring, uh, or I'm going to crease all the score lines, and I'm going to use my bone folder to get a good, nice crease. the cover and then we're going to do the same thing with the bottom of the box. Just bend it up and score. Or crease it. Crease that score. And then this side. Score that. This side. Enhance that fold. And then the bottom one. Enhance that fold there. We're ready to cut. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut, let's see if I can get this up a little bit higher. There we go. We're going to cut this line here just up to the score line and this line here on this score line up to this score line that goes um, horizontal. So we're going to cut on the vertical score line on this side and this side, the vertical score line on this side and this side but only up to the horizontal score line. So let me get my snips and I'll show you. So I'm going to go cut right up here like that. And then I'm going to cut a little bitty notch out just so that it folds a little nicer when we go to fold the corners in. So it doesn't have to be very much, just a little sliver like that. So just like a little notch. So, And then I'm going to do it the other side. Cut on that score line, that two inch score line, up to the other two inch score line and stop. And then I'm going to take a little notch out of that side. Like that. And flip it around and do the opposite side. So 
how are you guys doing today? How are you getting ready for Christmas? I got my tree up and decorated on Sunday and got um, the stockings up and everything. So I got the decorations done. I still got to do my Christmas cards though. That's next on my to-do list. All right, so now we have our cuts made so we can put our little box together. So we just bend those little folds in like that and then bend the, bend the side up and bend the side up like that. And then you have your box. So what we have to do is put some tear and tape or some glue on these little flaps here. So where'd my tear and tape go? Here it is. All right. I love tear and tape. It is just the best adhesive, especially for doing projects like this, little 3D projects, because it, it is really strong. It holds every, everything in place really well. So I'm going to put a couple different pieces on each tab. Just put down however much you need and tear the rest off. Flip that next on this side over. You do the same thing. And here. And one more. All right. Now we're going to peel the backing off. side and this side. Sometimes you got to press it down better so that you don't peel the adhesive up with the backing. There we go. All right. So now I'm going to stand it up here. I'm going to put the the glue pieces to the inside and then I'm going to stand up the other side so that it's even with the corner there like that. Now you see some of it sticking up a little bit and I think that's because when I cut my notch I didn't cut enough off um, but it's not going to hurt anything. See this side didn't do that. So this side I must not have, well I did, I guess I didn't put it down far enough. Let me try that again. There we go. I just didn't have it in far enough. Well, now let's crook it on this end. <laughs> I'm going to have to put some more tape on now. It's not going to stick good. Come on. There we go. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit more tear and tape on there. <laughs> Over the top. Peel the backing off. So now I'm going to make sure it's all the way down and I'm going to make sure this corner is level. See, it's still sticking up a little bit right there. Oh well, yeah, that's okay. So then we'll do this side. Peel that tape off. Peel this side off. up like that. 
that. Close this side up like that. And there we have it. Our box bottom is done. And now we just do the same thing to the top. So the top I'm going to cut this vertical score line that we made at one inch up to the score line that we made horizontal like that on one side and then on the, the right hand side and on the left hand side and then turn it around and do the opposite side the same way. Cut right along your one inch score line up to the other one inch score line. There. So now you have your, your little top that you can glue together as well. And I didn't take the notches out of this side, but I think I will because it just, um, that way it doesn't stick up a little high so I'm going to take a little bit off of this edge here. Like that. And then see this one. Yeah, I'm going to take a little bit off of that side as well. flat now. Oh yeah, that's good. Okay, now let's do the other side. Turn it around. That one doesn't look like it's going to need it. That one looks like it's going to lay flat on its own. Okay, so let's add some tear and tape to this. So some of you already know that I live in um, Tucson, Arizona during the winter, and I have my um, regular house in Minnesota, but uh, the, those Minnesota winters can be brutal, and I've spent more than 40, 40 plus winters in Minnesota, and I've had enough, <laughs> so I decided to uh, get a place down here in Tucson where my dad would spend his winters because he's from upstate New York or he was and so was my mom and that's where I was born and raised upstate New York but then I moved to Minnesota and met my husband and we raised our family in Minnesota so anyway um, we bought a place down here in Tucson which we really like it down here but um, last winter I had to spend the winter down here without my husband because he's still working and I could work from home. But I um, retired in June of this year and he's retiring right after Christmas at the end of December. So from January till March he will be able to join me down here in Arizona. I'm going to fly back to Minnesota for Christmas and uh, spend Christmas with my family up there, my two daughters and my grandkids and my husband. And then he and I will fly back to Tucson in January. So that's the plan. All right, so I got all the tear and tape adhesive backing pulled off and I'm gonna attach the corners like so. And get the tape out of the way there. And this corner like so. And then this corner, get that inside like so. And there is the lid for your box. So that's how you make them. They're very easy to make, right? 
and then you can decorate it any way you want. I was going to put some uh, designer series paper on here and then I was going to use my pretty peacock ribbon to go with this pretty peacock cardstock. Isn't that gorgeous? Um, where, what, let me see if I can find what piece of paper I was going to use. Um, I think I was going to use the sentimental Christmas paper. Yeah, I was. I was going to use this Christmas tree paper. So if you want to watch me do that real quick, that shouldn't take too long. Hang on one second. Got to get my paper trimmer back over here. And I'm going to have to measure the cover to see how much how what the size is for my designer series paper. So this is just shy of six inches. So I think I want about five inches and three quarters by four inches and three quarters. Let's see. How am I going to do that? I think I said... What did I say? Six and three quarters? No, five and three quarters. By, by four and three quarters. No, four, yeah, four and three quarters? No, that's two, four, well, just shy of four and three quarters. All right. Four three quarters is there so I'm just going to go in a sixteenth of an inch there and cut that and then five and three quarters is right there and cut that let's see if that is the right size no I just I measured wrong all right so I need to cut a little bit more off the bottom Four, four and a half. Let's try four and a half. side too. I'm going to take maybe about a skosh, <laughs> like my exact measurement, a skosh off of that end and another skosh off of this end. Just a teeny little bit. There we go. Let's see if that works. Oh yeah, that's much better. Much better. Okay, let me measure that. How much is that? Five and one, two, three, four, five eighths. Five and five eighths. Right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Five and five eighths by four and one, two. Well, two. Four and a quarter. Just let's just say four and a quarter. And then, like I said, I'm going to put some ribbon around that, and I'll have another card box ready to go. So I hope you um, found that easy and quick to do, and that you give it a try. And let me know if you have any questions about how to put this box together. Um, I think it's pretty self-explanatory, and. Um, if you haven't already signed up for my newsletter, I would appreciate it if you'd go to TammyLoveStamping.com and sign up for my newsletter. And you can um, get your weekly newsletter from me and stay in touch with what's going on with Stampin' Up! and any sales. Uh, for example, I believe we're having a free shipping, uh, three, three days of free shipping next week. So um, if you sign up for my newsletter, you will be informed about that as well. So take care and God bless. Thanks for watching.